What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red. And we back with some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Manny Pacquiao versus who? All right, y'all. Good to be back, man. Good to be back. So, <clears throat> a lot of news surrounding the homie Manny Pacquiao and his next fight and uh, his first fight, potentially, maybe in 2020, but I'm doubting it, uh, potentially in, in the first quarter of 2021. Now, there's a lot of news coming out surrounding uh, Pacquiao and uh, Conor McGregor. But if you uh, if you look into what's really been going on with Pacquiao and his potential upcoming next fight, Mikey Garcia's name always comes up, you know. And this, it, to me, uh, I look at this like, you know, Pacquiao's at a point in his career he doesn't need the money, you know, he doesn't need the uh, exposure, the fame. Uh, I think he's looking to to leave a lasting legacy and I think <clears throat> unfortunately for him the best fighters at, at welterweight are not available at this point and won't be perhaps until the end of 2021 uh, which is I'll touch on that a little later but won't, won't be uh, available to potentially the end of 2021 and uh, there are, to me there are two three great names out there for a potential matchup for Pacquiao one of them's not going to come to the table. We're not even going to talk about him. I think everybody knows who he is. The other is Udanius you guys. And I feel like uh, I don't think he has anything upcoming. I think there's a possibility him and Pacquiao could get it on in, in, at the end of 2020 if if they wanted to. I don't know if Pacquiao actually wants to entertain that fight. You guys doesn't come with a big fan base uh, at this point. But uh, that's a good fight out there for him if he wants to take on a uh, uh, up and coming welterweight, you know. Uh, but there is another uh, guy out there in Mikey Garcia and his he him trying to stake his claim at, at 147 pounds, and he's been pushing for a Pacquiao fight for a while now. You know, there are guys out there like Crawford and Spence who are just not available, and the biggest name out there at this point. Uh, barring a fight with Lomachenko or Canelo Alvarez or Triple G, you know, is Mikey Garcia comes with a huge Mexican fan base. And I think it would be a, a good look for Manny Pacquiao and a good uh, tune-up fight for perhaps a fight with Earl Spence, uh, Terrence Crawford, or uh, potentially a rematch with Floyd Mayweather sometime in 2021. Now, we all know the accolades Mikey Garcia comes with. Let's 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 talk about what a potential fight with Conor McGregor and Manny Pacquiao would be. You know, perfectly honest with you, man, I'm not interested in that fight. I think it's a joke <clears throat> for those two sports to be trying to interweave. You know, they're just that that totally different. Uh, they're just. Two totally different uh, styles of fighting, and and the MMA guys can't do what the boxing guys do, and the boxing guys can't do what the MMA guys do, and they should just leave it there, you know, unless they're gonna do some type of, you know, cross promotion boxing and MMA, and you got a guy doing a fight in the in the octagon and a guy doing a fight in the ring, you know what I'm saying? Then <clears throat> I think that would make it more interesting. Uh, if you had that dynamic, you know, let's say Pacquiao fought McGregor in the ring and then he fought him in the octagon for a few rounds, you know, that would make it more interesting because it would give both guys a shot uh, in in their best uh, field, for lack of a better word. And <clears throat> to just, just stick an MMA guy in a boxing ring just don't make sense, man. It doesn't. There are too many good actual boxers out there for them to keep doing this just to try to get one fan base to intermingle with the other fan base and make a bigger pile of money for everybody. It's just, it's, it's killing the actual people who, the actual fans who like boxing for what it is and the actual fans who like MMA for what it is. You know, it just doesn't make sense at this point. As far as the matchup go, Manny Pacquiao destroys Conor McGregor inside of a few rounds, I feel like. You know, I don't think McGregor even has a chance. Uh, like he did with Mayweather, and Mayweather pretty much destroyed him, you know. I think Pacquiao would put a quicker beating on him, uh, and very easily, you know. 
Uh, now, a matchup with Mikey Garcia is completely different. Mikey Garcia, very good boxer, very strong young guy, and uh, willing to engage, knows the rings, knows how to fight in a boxing ring, <laughs> opposed to a, a, a Conor McGregor. Now, the pile of money that McGregor's going to bring along, uh, <laughs> The pile of money that McGregor is going to bring along could be the deciding factor in, in, in if Pacquiao fights McGregor over Garcia. You know, there's just so much money tied up into that fight. It's almost like <clears throat> taking on Floyd for the second time. There's going to be so much money tied up in that fight. It's ridiculous. Uh, but if you're talking about legacy and leaving a lasting uh, impression on boxing, Mikey Garcia would be that guy. <clears throat> At the moment, he's not the best welterweight out there. But he is the biggest name out there at the moment. So, you know, let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, we're going to be getting back to the channel, man. I know I say it all the time, and then I take a couple weeks off again. <laughs> but a lot of things going on. Some things winding down a little bit, so I'm going to have a lot more free time, man. Uh, I'm okay financially, so, you know, I shouldn't have to uh, put my... What I'm trying to do as far as the channel on hold anymore. All I got to do is focus on making content for you guys. Keep hitting that like button for me. Keep subscribing for me. Uh, it does a lot for the channel when you guys support me. You know, we can, we can start supporting each other, you know. Uh, if you want to be featured on Ollie Land Boxing Talk or any other of the other uh, content I feature on my channel, man, always leave me a comment down in the comment section below. Hit me up in uh, the community section or you can... Check, out, check me out on Facebook or something, man. You know, go holler at me on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you catch me at, man. Just holler at me. Uh, man, you something, man. You know, it's your boy Carter Red. We out of here.